Okay, in this video, I'll show you guys how to graph a curve divided by parametric equations, this and that. And we want to go from negative pi to pi. So we just have to do the dirty work, meaning that we have to set a table. And I put negative pi here and positive pi here. And I also want to use 0 because it's in the middle. And let's not be lazy. Let's also pick negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2. And we just have to plug in these values into all the t's and then work out the x and also the y's. All right, here we go. Plugging negative pi into here, we get negative pi, and sine of negative pi is 0, so this right here is just negative pi. And plugging negative pi into here, cosine of negative pi is negative 1, so this is negative 1. So I will come here, well, this is my negative 3. Negative pi is about negative 3.14, so I will just go a little bit to the left, and then go down. This is negative 1 for the y, so this is my first point. And it's also a good idea to indicate that this is when t equals negative pi. And then we continue. Plugging negative pi over 2 into here and here, I get negative pi over 2. And when we have sine of negative pi over 2, we get negative 1, because it's like down like uh, 0, negative 1. If you look at the unit circle, so you have negative 1. And plugging negative pi over 2 into cosine, well, you get 0. Therefore, you're going to plug this right here, and you can use a calculator to get estimation. This is about negative 2.5 something, or 6 something. Well, it's just going to be somewhere right here. Let me just indicate that. Negative pi over 2 minus 1, comma, 0. And this is when t equals negative pi, like that, pi over 2, like that. All right, when t is 0, plug in here, you have 0 plus sine of 0, which is still 0. And cosine of 0 is 1. So you plug in 0, 1. 0 for x, y for 1, which is right here. And this is the time when t is 0. And then continue. Positive pi over 2 into here. You get positive pi over 2. Sine of pi over 2 is positive 1. So you add 1. And cosine of pi over 2 is 0. Therefore, uh, it's pretty much the re like right here, right? Symmetrical. This is when t equals positive pi over 2. And lastly, pi in here, you get pi, and then sine of pi is 0, so you just have pi. And then pi in here, cosine of pi is negative 1. Here is my 3. This is my 3.14-ish, and you go down to negative 1, which is about right here. Indicate this is when t equals positive pi. In the end, just connect the dots with a nice curve like this. Yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much it, and you have to know that the path it goes like this. So you may want to draw some arrows to indicate it's this direction. And perhaps I can ask you guys, is this uh, ellipse, or what kind of shape is this if you actually um, have more t values? Anyway, you guys can leave a comment down below and let me know uh, if you have the answer to that, or what kind of shape this is. Anyway, that's it.